Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a minute since we've done a good old body care video and it's not like that's intentional. So body care day came and went. I did make a huge body care order um, to try out all the body mists that were online and then my package got stolen and by the time they sent a new one, it's been a minute. I didn't shop to my annual sale because I was waiting on this package. So here we are. I finally got a bunch of my body care day stuff, a bunch of body mists to review or talk about and just show you what I got. I did get a bunch of things, like there's a lot of body mists in here. Um, I wanted to try a bunch of the stuff that I haven't tried yet, and they've been building up because honestly, Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret has not been very exciting with their releases recently for me personally. Um, so I just waited a while until there was a big sale. I bought all of them, so we're gonna talk about all of them today and see what we like. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been decluttering a lot, I've been um, keeping my collection quite small and only keeping the things that I am obsessed with. Um, so that is another reason that I don't really bring in as much stuff as I used to. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna smell all the new stuff as often as possible because it's who I am inside. All right, I don't know what to start with, you guys, but I think let's start with this like little like ballet collection. Is that what it's called? Did I make that up entirely? I think I might have made it up, but this makes me think ballet, princess, cute, pretty, pearls. So that's what we're gonna start with. Now, pink suede has been out before, and I don't remember loving it, but I don't remember what it smells like, so I wanted to get it again. Pink suede, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is... Beautiful, so girly, so precious. Um, some of these pearls are raised, which is always a nice little detail that they have. Um, this is Blush Berries Velvet Peonies Soft Cotton. Cotton can sometimes be good, sometimes it can be a little too like powdery. Um, peonies are usually really pretty, berries always a good thing, so let's smell this baby. I would like this if it was more on the fruity end of the spectrum. Um, this has a very like, I feel like all of these have this kind of really nice, clean, girly powder room, aka bathroom, but it makes more sense to say powder room in this case because that's what I feel like this gives is powder room. You get initial berries, those berries quickly fade and you get this like clean cotton, slightly powdery scent. And the powderiness that it, this turns into is a little bit like headache inducing for me sometimes. Usually clean scents like this, like it almost gives me like artificial plastic powder, um, sweet. I'm trying to think of what scents back in the day gave me that. I'm trying to remember what Pink Chiffon was like because I feel like there was a scent in that collection that kind of gave me the same vibe where it's like you get those hint of berries initially and then it's literally just like a clean cotton, almost the way like clean coconut smells. It's a very like clean cotton, girly, pink, you know, plastic smell. So this one's just not for me. I don't know. I think it's pretty. It does give me like, I feel like ballet slippers might smell like this. Let's go to Ballet Nights. Again, packaging is absolutely gorgeous. This is Wild Plum Glowing Amber Tonka Cream. So amber is not my favorite, but let's smell this. Oh, okay, so this has the similar like artificial plasticky smell as the other one, except more of it. And this is, the amber in here is nauseating to me. I don't really like this one, to be honest. It is, it's just too plasticky. There's something plastic about this smell. There might be a hint of plum, but it's not very fruity. It's more so like clean plastic, clean plastic with amber and like a slight creamy note. It is more sophisticated. I could see this in a perfume, but this is one of those perfumes that if I was in the car with someone that had sprayed this right before a party and we were on the way to the party, I feel like I would want to get out of the car. Not because it smells bad, but because it would just overwhelm me. Amber tends to do that, but this like amber and creamy note together 
gives me like sophisticated, but it also gives me powder room plastic. So again, not my favorite. I think I like this one a little less than pink suede, which is unfortunate because these are so pretty. I mean, the, the packaging, I feel like matches the vibe of the scent. It's just not something for me. And then we have satin slippers. This is beautiful as well. This is white rose, dreamy jasmine, airy musk. This sounds like a perfect little ballet scent with some rose in there. Ooh, okay, so this one's my favorite. There's still some kind of like powderiness, like clean musk, but I think the jasmine and rose are so pretty in here. This is so feminine. This is that like girl next door fragrance. You spray it in your hair in the springtime. You smell like roses and jasmine. A little bit of like clean. It just smells clean too. Like sometimes like after you get out of the shower, that steam of like clean scents from your shower gels, like that's what I get from this. Oh, it's so pretty. This one I really like, satin slippers. I don't know if it's enough for me to be like wowed and want it forever, you know, but this is really pretty. I wonder how it smells on the skin. Initial burst, you do definitely get that like rose and jasmine and almost like a sweet, sweet floral note. And I think as it settles in, you get that kind of more clean, powdery note. If you're not a fan of florals and musk, you might not like this. But it's a very gentle fragrance. It's very gentle. And I'm, I'm not mad at it. Satin Slippers is the best one in that collection, in my humble opinion. So the next ones we tried were um, repackages. Or this kind of looks like the old packaging. This is Carried Away and this is Lovely Dreamer. I do remember owning both of these, but I didn't remember what they smelled like. Carried Away I tried a long time ago when I was trying all retired fragrances. This is Lush Raspberries, Juicy Pear Nectar, White Jasmine, Whipped Vanilla. This smells really good. This kind of, like that raspberry, is very tart, but there's this... I think that Jasmine... Jasmine is one of my favorite florals and fragrances because of how fresh it can be. That like fresh jasmine with that like tart raspberry, that pear nectar and that vanilla. Usually vanilla mixed with fruit can give me more of like an orange sickle scent that can be nauseating. For some reason like adding creaminess, it's like yogurt. It just nauseates me for some reason. I need it to be fruity or vanilla with some exceptions. But this, it's so precious. It's, uh, I like this fragrance a lot. If you like, like that vanilla is, Pretty, but it just it balances it really well. That like that tart raspberry with a vanilla. It does kind of remind me of we had a raspberry vanilla, I think, but this one's a little more tart and a little more like spring because of that jasmine and that nectar, you really get a nice fruity mix. I really like this fragrance. Now I don't know if I like it because it's nostalgic or if it just came out as a new scent, if I would like it as well. On the skin, you do get this like spring flowers kind of scent with the tart fruitiness. I don't know, uh, it's really nice. I feel like I would wear this going into spring a lot. But it is also an interesting fragrance. For some reason, that mixture is just very interesting. Um, a lot of raspberry scents can be hit or miss for me because the raspberry can be so tart mixed with other things. It's just like, I don't know if it's a crowd pleaser, but I know I personally like it. But it's drying down to a sweet, like, clean scent. Slightly fruity, but that creaminess from the vanilla is making it, like, mellow out and just smell clean. Like a sweet, clean scent with a slight tartness, which I still like. But I don't know, it's it's like a, this is like a good 7 out of 10 for me. As it dries down, it's it becomes more simple, and I still like it. But let me know how you guys feel about Carried Away, because I remember back in the day, this was a really popular one. Let me know if you guys still like this one, and if you were excited that this came back out. Then we have Lovely Dreamer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't this in like rectangular packaging at some point? I had it in the rectangular packaging. I remember that, I think. And I really liked it. I will say... This smells a little different than I remember it, and let me know if you guys had the old one, if you think this smells exactly the same. I don't have it to compare. This smells like cleaner and more powdery than the other one. The other one had a little bit of like a perfumey, like clean girl perfumey aesthetic thing going for it, because that makes any sense. This, I feel like, 
This one's a lot more powdery. This is Fluffy Musk Clean Woods White Iris Fresh Bergamot. I, I feel like that iris and that musk gives this like powdery cleanness, which the other one did have this like that same kind of scent profile. But I feel like that one had a little more oomph and this is more mm, like clean musk than the other one. I like it. It's a very clean fragrance. I feel like you would get compliments because any kind of clean smelling fragrance that's also feminine people tend to like because you literally just smell like you know how to take care of yourself and you know how to shower and you use lotion. It's a very clean scent. Um, but I remember the other one being a little more oomphy, you know? Like, it's a pretty scent. I do like this one. It's just... It's not exactly like the old one, I swear. Alright, then you guys, we have Meet Me in Miami. So this one is Breezy Palm Trees Cabana Coladas Suntan Days. I have a feeling this is going to be your standard summer palm tree coconut fragrance. Let's see. Oh yeah. This is your standard suntan lotion, coconut, hint of fruitiness, palm tree kind of scent. This doesn't have enough fruit and fun things for me. This too much of like a suntan coconut lotion smell, which is perfect for the summertime. Weird time for this to come out, but in the summertime, scents like this are a hit always. And it smells good, but it's nothing I haven't smelled before. This is your like typical suntan lotion kind of beach scent. Um, it's good. I prefer something a little fruitier. Then you guys, I bought two that I re-bought technically because I don't have them anymore um, because I missed the scent and I was like, oh, it's on sale, so I will buy it. So I got Endless Sea, which was Fresh Bergamot Saltwater Lily Ocean Driftwood. I remember being obsessed with this and then ended up not keeping it and then I missed it. I really, really missed it. But now smelling it again, I don't know if I still miss it. It smells really good. This reminds me of like the same vibe as like Aqua Kiss, except a little more, a little less perfumey and a little more just like fresh. But as this dries down, I feel like that bergamot becomes a little bit like clean cleaning chemicals. And I don't remember it drying down like that when I first tried it. I remember it drying down more for that like lily driftwood kind of like clean smell. But now smelling it, it dries down more to that like cleaning chemical bergamot. And I don't know if I like it as much, so let me know if you guys kept this, if you use it, if it dries down differently on you. If I ever have a problem with the dry down, I usually just spray it on my clothes because scents don't change as much when they don't mix with your body chemistry. I also repurchased um, Pretty as a Peach, one of my favorite peach scents. This is Blushing Peach, Jasmine Petals, White Nectarine, Apple Blossom, Sheer Fesia. All things I love. This is one of my favorite peach scents of all time. It smells so good, and every time I smell a peach scent, I just think of spring and summer, and it makes me really happy, so I was like, you know what? I want a peach scent back in my life, so I bought it, and I can't wait to use it. Peach scents can sometimes smell like cat urine. Um, this one, in my opinion, does not. That always does worry me. One of my favorites was like the peach and sweet tea one. Everyone thought that smelled like urine, so I was like, I might enjoy it, but then is everyone else going to think that I'm getting peed on by cats? I don't know. So... Um, I decided to go with Pretty as a Peach instead of trying to find that one on Mercari. Oh, it smells so good. I will. This just is one of those scents that like is a feel-good scent. It just makes me so happy, so I had to have it back in my life. And then I decided to try Golden Berry Mistletoe. Uh, this is Sparkling Berries, Sugared Spruce, Frosted Air. I love me a fruity um, Christmas tree scent, which is what I thought this would be. I will say, this is not what I expected. This is very fruity. Like, I feel like those berries are really delicious. It's kind of like giving candy, like starburst berries, which is not what I was expecting at all, with like a frosty kind of vibe to it, like frosted starburst, hint of spruce. But it's just not what I expected. It's a very pretty scent, but I wanted it to be more like... Um, Frosted wood, to frosted wood, or something like that from Bath and Body Works from back in the day, which was like a fresh Christmas tree scent. This is more like a sweet, slightly fruity spruce scent. It's good. 
It's just not what I expected for some reason, but it's a really pretty scent. It's not what I expected from the packaging or anything like that, but let me know how you guys feel about this. I'm still, I'm on the fence about it. And then you guys, I bought three non body mist things that I am for sure keeping. Um, I bought a moisturizing body wash in Endless Sea. I do like this scent and I will buy moisturizing body washes in any scent. They are my favorite formula. I love these, which is why I also got one in the Sensitive Skin um, Oatmeal um, Moisturizing Body Wash. It smells super clean, super spa-like, so I um, had to pick these up when they were on sale. And I also picked up one body butter, even though I'm trying not to buy body butters or lotions because I have so many. Um, but this water one, it smells so like clean and I feel like in the spring and summer it'll feel so like light and bouncy and it'll just be delicious and hydrating. So I bought this guy. This smells like um, just clean. Maybe a hint of something like not citrusy but like a very gentle like water floral, like a water lily with like a citrus. Oh, I can barely, I can barely even make it out, but it just has this like clean lotion smell and I think it's really good. All right, you guys, that is everything for this video. Let me know which of these scents that you guys kept, uh, which ones you like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.